Yes, look at that. We've got a, such a close-up with of uh, Tlalumba's mouth and her whiskers. And Paul is pulling off his magic. And there was a hyena that just approached the area now. So I think that's why Tlalumba is just taking a look. But look at those whiskers on there. Absolutely stunning. Now, if you really want to look at the whisker line and identification of leopards, how we do it is you see that top whisker line. She's got four. That's all. Now she just moved. Well, thanks, sir. Thanks, Lama. There we go. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for doing that for us. We've got like the four little dots on the left hand side, right on top. So I'll say that's the left hand side is so many, and the right side, right, right hand side will be so many. So that's how we actually identify the leopards. If we don't know them, we'll take a look at those whisker lines. As well, the other two spots around the face as well. Very important. But look at those whiskers. We're very important for them with these long whiskers at night time. So when they do move around, um, sometimes if they have to go and find small gaps, small areas, and if they know that their whiskers can get through there, their body will get through there. So uh, those whiskers almost feel, almost acts like a uh, like a walking stick. What do you call it? Like a tapping stick, you know, where you can, if you don't know what's happening in front of you, you just tap the stick and see what's happening there. So they use those whiskers quite a bit at night time, finding their way around. But of course, their eyesight is brilliant. They are nocturnal, so they can see at least about 10 times better than we can. So, but oh, look at that coat on there. Just stunning. Those rosettes. So we don't call them spots, we call them rosettes. It's pretty much like a ring, a black ring with a little bit of a darker uh, goldish color in the middle of that ring and it's pretty much for the rest of the body so of course we can come to me panthera panthera pardus so panthera part of the family this panthera leo and jaguars panthera jaguaris and this is panthera pardus all part of the panthera family so they do a lot with their vocals as well. They've got that, like a lion roars, a leopard soars. Female or a male leopard is doing territorial calling, or if it's a female that's also looking for a mate to mate. Vocal soar, rrr, 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 like a real deep rasp to it. And um, it's all created by a membrane. There's a cartilage inside of that membrane. And what happens is actually stretch the membrane and then let that cartilage and the cartilage will vibrate and it'll create you know, a, like uh, how can I say a real a deep raspy uh, vocals to them but while we are sitting here with uh, raspy Tlalumba let's head over to Crisp <laughs> 